Welcome back. We're going to play Hacknet version 5.067. Um, last time we played it was probably version 4 something, if I had to guess. Either way, we can pick up where we left off, which is somewhere. Yeah? We're an administrator of RPC. Check that out. Feel like a real hacksaw. So, um, yeah, let's probe our own system. Because, you know, we can. Um, oh, okay, we need open ports to crack our own PC. Not sure why we'd want to do that, because we're already the administrator. But, you know, if we had ports open, we could try to crack it. Alright. Does anybody remember how this game works? Because, um... Alright. Home. Stash. I remember I was, like, collecting all the files from all the PCs. Every time I tap into a PC, I just, like, download everything. Mantra. Alright, so Entropy, if I remember right, is my employer, and not my target. Hopefully I have that correct. Not sure if that's always going to be the case, but... Um, especially because they were introduced as my employer early on, you would think that there's going to be some kind of betrayal aspect in this game. But, you know, for now, they're all good guys. They have a good credo. There's nothing suspicious going on there. Why would they do anything bad? They're entropy. Invalid chars test file. Squiggle. Backtick. Single quote. Pipe. Okay. Uh, laptop police report. Sure. Mail list info. HR saying they'll get somebody else to try to decrypt it. Um, but first, it's got, according to the guy, it's the right size, so it's got to be the right data if we can break into it. Um, sure. All right. So where's my mission list thing? I mean, we could disconnect from. Oh, here's the mail. Here we go. Um, so first mission. Congratulations! I have no way of knowing if you succeeded in the responder, but if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. If You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had the sort of thing he's known for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Remember, any non-basic programs need a port number to run. Like, put the port number just find a port and you want to crack and run it on that. In case you already didn't know, you can hit tab to auto com Oh, right, 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 right. Yep, just hit tab and the game plays itself. Nice work. Here's what it's going to start getting harder. I have to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. That's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs in a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this if you forget everything else I tell you. Don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on the modern OS is tracked and logged in... <laughs> in tilde slash log. Uh, I mean, I guess... Uh, yeah, no, tilde slash log, as in like the user space log directory. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, sure, Bit would never lie to us. Of course, that's the right place where logs are stored. Uh, if you see this, you've done well in, well, this might actually be worth something. Is this too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. So I realize that I don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have any time to do any of it. So, 
I'm going to ask you to do something more. This group that goes by Entropy is currently accepting members. They'll ask you to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells. Uh, uh, you should be able to overload it. Okay. Confirmation mission. Let me be first. This is from Entropy. Let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the Entropy Group Answers exam. While to an experienced hacker, it's a relatively trivial task, surprisingly few seem to manage it. And or, nobody knows where your freaking server's at, so... Anyway. Before we allow you to officially join the group, you must further confirm your abilities. Because, you know, that was a really easy test, and we're going to give you an actual test, or maybe actual work. You know, Bit didn't tell me to bug these people. We just want the program brought down. I mean, they're okay if I, like, take the server down, but whatever. So I did all these other things. Entropy, okay. I'm just gonna assume I pick up at the top of the list here. Hey, Entropy peeps. So, EOS Device Scanner is uploaded to your asset server. Should run is a pretty standard connection targeted executable. Uh, because it needs to read a bunch of files in the system folder, it needs administrative access on the target machine to get running. Once it's going, it should be fine if you lose the disconnected, though. Basically, it works by checking through the backups made when a device syncs to a computer, then pretends to do a new wireless sync with the device, and use an exploit in that to open an SSH port, etc. Um, anybody understand what he's getting at there? I know he's saying, like, EOS instead of, like, IOS. And he says, you need administrative access for your program to do its magic here. But what kind of... what kind of stuff does this do? Device scanner. What would a device scanner be useful for? I guess for probing what are all the devices that are on um, the hardware. Because EOS users don't get access to the terminal on their own device, all the admin... really? All the admin passwords are the same. It's Alpine. No need to thank me. Probably just saved you a million years or something. I'll be expecting the payment we agreed on as soon as this upload finished, yeah? Uh... Seems unwise. Um... So what am I supposed to do? To your asset server. Oh, right, there's an entropy asset server. An entropy asset cache. And now anybody is capable of downloading this program and stuff, you know? Alright, see you around, Seek. Um, I don't know if I trust the dude. Let's view the files. Oh, wait. Where am I looking at the file system? I've already forgotten. I want a copy of this EOS thing. It's in slash bin EOS device scanner. File system. Bin. Yeah, it's not there. Home. New folder 49. Blog. Sys. Yeah, I think I've been lied to. I've been lied to. Oh wait, no. Asset cache. Here's the asset server. View file system. Bin. EOS device scan. Um. Damn it! What's the command for this? Um. It's like get EOS device scan. No. Copy EOS device scan. Uh, FTP. Okay, I forget the FTP syntax in this game. Which would actually be pretty useful at this point. Um, WGET EOS device scan. No. 
hell. All right, so we got commands. Um, hmm, hmm. Right, but no, that doesn't show me the command to copy a file. This is strange. Nope, that's not the right button. Can I scroll up here? Does my page up key work? Page up does not work. Not that I even expected it to, but I had to try it. Um, FTP. Okay. So yeah, how do I download this file? Ah, yeah, yeah. I suppose I have to like go through my tutorials again. Some tools together. SCP. Of course, and yeah, that makes sense. Um, so we want to SCP this to a local folder, nice. And from here we can like SCP it to anywhere, um, SCP FTP bounce. SCP SSH crack. I think we have SSH crack already. So that shouldn't have needed to be transferred because SCP is capable of figuring out whether or not you have the file already. But, you know, we'll keep it. Uh, log. Sure, why not? Remove all the logs. Just because we can. Alright, so... I'm not sure why I needed the tool. Fine, we'll disconnect from the Entropy Asset server. Disconnect from there. Am I even connected to anything at this point? Entropy Contact data or Contract Database might be a good place to go next. Reply. Sure. Oh, mission incomplete. There's actually a mission here. Um. So, yeah, I'm confused. As is typical for me, but, you know, that doesn't make it any better now, does it? Um, so I'm on Jmail. Using my super secure password. Um, but that's not my mission, is it? Okay, the contract requires access to an EOS device. You'll be forwarded the info once you have access to the phone. You're looking to find the password. Oh, here it is. Jason's PowerBook Plus. Okay, we don't have a login. Um, we need two open ports to crack the device. So we got an SSH crack utility. Do we have another crack utility to help get us in? Um, close notes to free space. Okay. Run shells on computers you have admin access to with shell. Connect to a target computer, probe its security. Use the shells to overload the target proxy. 
that edu archives will have more details. I remember I've done this earlier. Um, so, like here I could say SSH crack 22, but my own machine um, can only do so much. Like this is going to open port 22, but I need another port opened. Oh wait, no, I've already cracked it. Um, well, apparently dir doesn't show my local file system. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, FTP bounds exe1 from ssh crack exe1. Oh, FTP bounce might be the thing. FTP bounce, um, sure. We need to provide a port number, we can do that. Okay, so now the deal is um, we need to overload the proxies for the FTP and SSH so that we can get access. Um, I mean, yes, we've cracked FTP and SSH services, but if we want an actual login, apparently cracking those services isn't enough to actually get in. We have to shell um, and then overload the proxy server. Alright, where's the net edu archive? Where did the net edu archive go? Ah, shells. Okay, so do I have administrator access on stuff? We've got the test server, right? You are the administrator, so we could say shell. Um, and we are the administrator on this test PC, so we could say shell over here. And then we want to. Um, target this power book here. Right? I probably got this backwards. Yeah, let me check the archives again and make sure I get this correct. Crap. A shell running this mode will notify the running user when a foreign user connects to the machine and allow an emergency fork bomb flood. Oh, nice. That is useful. Okay. Let's us know when we're being tracked. You know, if we happen to care about that sort of thing. So, let's take a look at how do we overload the proxy server again? I've done this before, but... Um, yeah, we're not actually attacking a firewall right now, we're hitting a proxy server. Quick guide to proxy servers. It function as a buffering layer, right. So the point is that remote computers should hit the proxy server most of the time, if not all the time. But there are flaws, like an upper memory limit. So if they're overloaded, which is hard to test, um, traffic floods over to the original device.
Then with the collection of shells, we'll connect to a target computer and use the overload functionality. Um, so what confuses me is that I'm not seeing the overload functionality anywhere. Okay, so let's say here's the test server. Um, yes, we can say shell. Oops, that's not it. Okay, can we say overload? 159, 170, 159. Yeah, this is this overload stuff is not working the way I thought it would. Um Open ports required for crack. Connect to a target computer probe at security. Use the shells to overload the target proxy. Um, proxy something? Okay, probe this machine. Okay, now we've already probed it. I don't know. Scan network. View file system, view logs. Uh, yeah, we're gonna disconnect from the PowerBook Plus. So we've got a shell still here. Um, what programs do we have? Those don't look like programs. Those don't look like programs at all. So whatever, we're just gonna hop off this test server. Um, and check our archives again until we finally figure out what, what it is that they mean. Remote execution. EXE, a modern terminals, executes a file on the local machine uh, of the running user. Targeting that program at the machine the local user is connected to. Um, are, is this RPC? I don't know. In the local machine of the running user. Targeting that program on the machine the local user is connected to. Uh, I don't understand. I mean, I think what this is saying is that when you use the exe command, you're executing your local application on the remote computer. As opposed to you're executing it on your local computer targeting uh, the remote computer. Alright, so what's on my machine? We've got programs, right? We've got hex clock. Um, yeah, that's the current time in hex. Also, apparently that changed um, what my computer looks like. Um, PS shows running processes. 
all that. That's fun. All right, I guess we'll leave Hex Clock running. Oh, that's fun. It's fancy. It changes the color of my uh, setup here every second. That's a fun little thing. Um... That'll never get old. So... There's no proxy server here, though. We're actually accessing the machine. No command crack. Um... Alright, so let's hop on here. Let's say shell. Let's hop on another computer where we've got admin rights and say shell again. <clears throat> Test PC. Say shell. Um, whereas if I'm on this PowerBook Plus, I can't say shell here, right? Yeah. So overload does squat here. Um. <clears throat> so I'm confused what's the command I use from these shells to hit the servers. What are my commands? Analyze, add note. Um, no firewall detected. Right. No B commands, C commands, closed CD tray, insufficient privileges, go figure, cat, uh, insufficient privileges to do cat, uh, disconnect, exe, EOS device scan, sure, exe, oh, check that out, we found available executables, okay, so that's how we do this, we say, Execute um, port hack. Uh, password found. All right, nice. We got a password. We're not asked to do anything more than obtain the password, but um, we could take a look at the file system, see what's out there. Empty folder, empty folder. Um, data, IRC log. Oh yeah, this is from bash.org. Good stuff. Um, also from bash.org. Not so great. Uh, this week we watched the human centipede as a class. It is now your task to answer the following questions about the film. Remember, the assignments are due at the end of week six. You will receive a grade from A plus uh, to A. The star of the film, the two girls are captured by an insane doctor and subjected to horrifying acts of torture. If you were to be in their situation, how would you feel? And if your feelings were a color, what color would they be? The film is touted as 100% medically accurate. Do you agree with the statement? Provide two science facts to support your claim. Can you devise a more effective method of creating a human centipede which would not result in some of the medical conditions suffered by the film's victims. Provide a diagram and several science facts along with a written version of your plan. Uh, so what's this about? 
Okay, so people just aren't getting along with each other. Yep, yep, yep. Um, of course, my logs are the only thing in this directory. But, yeah, we have access to the PowerBook Plus. Yay us. Um, Alright, I guess we'll disconnect. I mean, we could scan the network, see what's out there. But, um, new logs. Logs are empty. Let's log out. Okay. We don't need our shells open anymore. Apparently the shells just somehow did their magic anyway. I didn't have to use the A exe command. Amazingly. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at our contract. Your password is five. Um, okay, mission incomplete. Oh, I'm supposed to, once I have access to the device, um, run this EOS thing. Okay, we can do that. We have access to the device now, so... We are the administrator. So the password is actually six, it's not five. That's quite a trippy... that's a glitchy display if there ever was one. Um, opened for connection. Okay. Um, I still don't know the password though. That's what's bugging me about this. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. We've already scanned the damn device. Uh, is there no way to change the password? Um, whatever. Scan complete. Sure. Sounds good to me. Um... Okay. All the admin passwords are the same across the entire product range. I'm expecting the payment we agreed on as soon as the upload finished, yeah? So... Run EOS device scanner. Connect to the revealed device. Log in. Okay. So that's the nuance here, is that um, we've got to run the EOS device scanner. And then from the EOS device scanner, um, figure out what to do next. Connect to the revealed device. How do I connect? Connect to Jason's device thing? I don't know. We got a IP address. 159.20 to 199.87. There's no computer there though. Log in. Uh, really? That's... There's no way I would make that my password. Yeah, we're not logging in. Okay, so how do I connect to this revealed device? Is it somewhere... oh, here it is. 
here we go, login. We know the password, username is going to be admin, password is alpine. Uh, back, login again, admin, alpine. Okay, there we go. I typed it correctly this time. So we're the administrator of this device. Ah, so now what? What do we do now? View the file system. Jeez, so much stuff here. So much stuff. Notes. Fork buns. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of caster sugar. 250 milliliters of warm water. See, here's how you know it's not a real recipe. is because we have tablespoons and milliliters in the same recipe. And then we're talking about flour with a W. So, yeah. Use these recipes at your own discretion. I wouldn't. Tortillas, two cups flour, half tablespoon, or teaspoon salt, teaspoon baking powder, tablespoon lard, three quarter cups water. Mix powders and work lard in. Add water and make dough. Knead till smooth, roll thick, and cook in pan until golden. Okay, mail. Uh, okay, 10, 10, 7. Not sure about this, but 10, 10, 7 looks like it. Uh, system files, logs, apparently work the same way on an EOS device as they would work anywhere else. Um, So yeah, let's respond here. I think we're being asked to respond with the password though, right? Let's see, you have access to the phone, you're looking to find the password to the owner's email account. Reply with that password and we'll take care of the rest. Okay. There we go. Contract successful. A client of your recent contract has reported a success and is pleased with your work. You are now free to accept further contracts from the contract database. Your current ranking is 19 of 100. Okay. Sure. So there's a contract database um, somewhere. Um, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh, here it is. Log in. Sure. Ah, XC project. Bit of a strange request. Someone exceptionally well-funded has asked for some help in investigating a co-worker's tablet to be seen, to see if it's being used for personal matters at work. A cursory poke around their system made it look like they were obsessed with aliens. Might be a really dedicated role-playing group, or a group of conspiracy theorists? Um, hackers stole valuable company data. They've been taken care of. What they stole still needs to be removed. Ay ay ay. A direct and unaltered clone of this company's product has shown up in the market, giving the pirates profits for work that is not theirs. Take care of the offensive party. A client wants to be sent some information on a colleague's phone. Yeah, well, we're going to accept this project because this seems innocuous enough. So. The XC project has need of your assistance. While strictly a quiet and internal matter, it's something I'd personally like investigated. 
because I held suspicions on it for some time. I believe one of the prominent research leads on our science team here may be less productive than she could be. I'd like an outside operative to investigate her tablet and see if anything's out of place or not work related. Our servers use a centralized data storage system that mirrors files by an ID code. I'd like you to investigate the system and reply to me with the code to any file you think might be worth investigating. Files oh, we're after should have their ID marked at the top. Project ID, etc., where that's the ID that we're after. Project ID, okay. Attached is a direct link to the tablet in question. Which... Where's the attachment? I mean, I see this XC project, etc., but I don't see an extra note on the map. I'm not seeing the extra note here anywhere. This is weird. I mean, I see the link, where it says link, but... Oh, here's the button. That was weird. All right can't log in because we don't have a username and password. If this were actually legit work, I should not have to crack into the device. They should give me the admin password. I should not need to crack this. Um, so yeah, we'll say SSH crack 22. Oh right, there's a proxy active. And if I call like overload, or what's it? How do you do proxy? How do you pass by a proxy? Analyze. No firewall, there's just a proxy. Um, what was the command to overload the proxy thing though? Fork bomb, FTP bounce, G, H, hex clock. I could have multiple hex clocks going. That'd be trippy now, wouldn't it? Uh, L is login. M is move. N is notes. O is open CD tray. P is port hack. But that doesn't bypass the proxy server. Q, R, reboot. S, solve. No firewall detected. Right. Um, T is tutorial. <laughs> You're at risk. Connect to your own computer. Yeah. Scan the computer now. All right. This is nice. Click on a blue node. All right, we'll click on a blue node, like this one. How do I kill the tutorial? Um. Okay, that's that's a fun tutorial, but we're not doing that right now. Um. Tutorial, that's the only T command. What do we have for U? Upload. That's cool. V, uh, W, X, Y, and Z. So we've hit all the letters. Um, uh, so yeah, I need to remember how to bypass the proxy. We should probably go back to the network education archives. Proxy servers. How do I flood it? How do I flood the proxy server? There's no flood command. Um. So yeah, what if I try this, like FTP bounce, um, oh, cannot execute an FTP bounce. Alright, 
Network Education Archives. Proxy Server Quick Guide. Oh! Okay, so here's the point. As I, like, log into the test machine, say shell, and then target damn... Where is it? The research machine. Here's where the overload thing is useful. Um, still, oh, okay, never mind. I can see the prox process is being made against the proxy. We're overloading the proxy by hitting the overload button here. Progress is slowly being made, but is being made regardless. Proxy bypassed. A sage crack. Uh, port 22. We could even run an FTP um, bounce on 21 if we wanted to. Just because we can. I'm surprised that cracking the SSH of all things should not be easy to crack. Yes, it should be present on all the machines, but it should, they should keep that up to date, you know? You know, they should not make it so easy. Alright, so now that we've done that, uh, we've opened the ports. Now I have to remember how it is that um, I make progress against this. Um, there's an FT... no, there's Fork Bomb, which is not desirable. FTP Bounce gets that, but how do we solve or something? No, there's no Firewall to bypass. Uh, analyze? There's no Firewall to analyze. Um, connect is not correct. Disconnect is not correct. Um, oh man, so now that I've got the open ports, what am I supposed to do? I still can't do this with a um, username and password, but... Uh, proxy is inactive. So... Port hack. Um, oh right, port hack. The weirdest name ever, because just randomly hacks into any kind of service that just happens to be at a given port. All right, so now we're the administrator. Home is empty. Log is empty. Um, we're gonna purge the log anyway. Bin is empty. Sys is empty. Slash X. Recovered species are extremely similar. Not just in appearance, but in genetic makeup. My initial interpretation that they were clones may have been inaccurate. While the DNA between their entities is identical, Perhaps this is a trait common to their species. Individual differences are purely mental. Nervous systems between the systems are extremely similar to those found in terrestrial mammals. What does it say about our own origins? Is this a universal constant, and if so, why? Um, no species, no detected species, appear to have any form of smell, though their visual senses appear very similar to those found in some insects, though much more developed. Facial opening in the nose region appears to be used as a close, as close to a form of taste, though it appears it serves practically the same function. Um, so this is Project 2133. Alien Flight Computer was an extremely interesting research piece without the specialized research team members that would found a way to decipher the alien data systems. 
we would have made extremely little progress. While we are still in the dark about many of the executable and programmable operations of the computer, we've deciphered much of the data and managed to recover some images and audio from the device. Uh, though the languages used in what we presume to be textual files is still out of our reach. Much of the data implies the computer specialized in extremely long-range navigation, functional both in planetary ranges and galactic scales. It also includes some confusing information on extremely high-speed collision avoidance. While the craft seems unconcerned with smaller particles such as asteroids, it's intent to... it is intent to avoid planetary masses while traveling. It gives us many clues toward the nature of their faster than light propulsion technology that will require further research. In addition to this, we found some surprising images on the device. What initially appeared to be anatomical and medical information about the crew of the craft was re-evaluated to be a form of alien pornography. Though there are no visible reproductive organs, the sectoid species appears to have a fascination with the neck and underside of the jaw, for reasons we cannot yet understand. Though not concrete information, our troops may wish to consider this a weak point, though it may be difficult to target in the heat of battle. Not ideal, considering this has created a significantly more accurate and deadly weapon than our pre earlier efforts, and should be something of a flat upgrade in all respects from our current rifles. Though the materials required to fabricate the rifles are not extremely expensive, our current manufacturing techniques will require many attempts to produce a focusing lens of the appropriate clarity and stability, a system that we have not yet perfected. Because of this, the rifles require the manufacture of approximately 100 lensing systems to luck into making one of sufficiently high quality. With the, additional, uh, with the addition of more engineers, we may be able to spare personnel to specialize in these areas and reduce this problem, reducing the cost of fabrication. Previously unobtainable operating times and intensities. Careful attention and processing should be paid to the outer bracket on the arm, which allow the attachment of a number of different heads and needs to uh, provide a secure fit. Note that note also that the rod needs to be detachable, described in note A12. This device should allow us to improve research efficiently, uh, improve research efficiently greatly, and should whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this doesn't... I don't know. Not all that makes sense. So, uh, we have two numbers. I want to add a... I want to open up a notepad if I can. Um, so here's the target PC. Here, let's say notes. Add a note. Okay. Um, test. Okay. I, I can add notes as I need to. Um, so we're going to go onto this file system. Get the X drive. Uh, add note. Two one three three. We're gonna add a note. Nineteen thirty eight. And these are our notes. Um, code name Lighthouse. So what is it that I'm looking for? if anything's out of place or not work related. XC project. Um, reply to me with the code of any file you think might be worth investigating.
tiles that we're after should have their ID marked at the top. But um. See if anything's out of place or anything's not work related. But how do I identify whether something's not related to. I don't know. Lacking in productivity. Um. Turn to inbox, so uh, view file system again. Hmm. I think this two one three three might be out of place with respect to everything else that is being done on this project. Um, this, this is a research report here. I'm debating which number of the two um, is unrelated. This, this seems like actual work here, whereas the other file seems not to have um, anything related to work. So I'm not sure if that's what it's asking me for. Apply to me with the code to any file you think might be worth investigating. Uh, I'm gonna assume that I know what I'm talking about, because otherwise I'm just gonna waffle on this all day. Okay, cool. Current ranking is 1 of 100. Nice. Um, probably should have removed these logs, though, to be honest. You know, so my ranking is one of a hundred. Um, I'm assuming that's a good thing. I might be assuming incorrectly. You didn't leave anything to chance and it paid off. This all looks in order, exactly the sort of files I was hoping we'd see work done. Hopefully the team's diligence in pursuing these projects will give us an edge in future engagements. Uh, that's weird. I don't get it. Like, hopefully the team's diligence in pursuing these projects... I... It doesn't make sense. Relatively new, but apparently talented hacker by the name Nikes has been a bit over-aggressive. He claims to have recently stolen a great deal of internal data from Macrosoft. Entropy is actively trying to improve the view of the hacker community in the eyes of the public. Just because our methods can be illegitimate does not mean our intentions are to harm. Nyx is doing a lot to damage this effort. I would like you to delete what he stole. Um, a recently acquired program has been added to the asset server to aid you in this task. Tex. Um, you know? Here's the thing. Um, just because our methods can be illegitimate does not mean our intentions are to harm. That does... I mean... Sure, but you've, you're not telling me what's going on. 
you need to give me much more information before I'm just going to randomly hack into a person's computer and delete their files. Now if you're telling me that's the only way I can make progress in this game, fine, but um, to that end I'd only be pursuing this as a game mechanic as opposed to something I'd just do of my own volition. You'd like me to do this. And yeah, I don't know that I'm going to do that, you know? Tell me more. Please tell me more. About Mike's. Hmm. Mission incomplete. Yeah, so... <sighs> you know... We made progress today, we learned some of the basic mechanics of the game. Um, I think I might cut it here, take a break, uh, and come back a bit later and do some more of this. This is a good warm-up. Uh, I've heard that this game gets darker later on, so that's part of the uh, motivation for me cutting it here as well. Um, because so far things have been pretty innocent. And things are going to change pretty soon. I don't want that to um, pollute this particular, what we did so far. So I'm going to separate that from what we're doing right now. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.